Hi, my dear fellows. How I have you? Greece is the mother of all our European countries. Unfortunately, my heart is not very good and I couldn't travel to our conference. But I'm here to call your attention to this. During these 50 years in which social marketing was developed as a behavior change and well-being discipline, new processes were also developed to control human behavior in what I think is abusive ways. Social marketing is based on freedom, democratic conditions, and full respect for citizens' rights. But in parallel, there are growing and growing systems that can be used to control and manipulate people's behavior without any respect for their human rights. The evidence is overwhelming. There is growing evidence that People's Republic of China, a country that represents almost 20% of the world population, that China has a powerful governmental big data system to control citizens' behaviors. And other authoritarian countries are seeking to copy this and expand their own systems. We could imagine a moment when most of humanity will be controlled and manipulated by such kind of things. And this means repression, jail, prohibition to travel, even prohibition to work, minorities' oppression, and horrors like this. That's how it goes. Even in the so-called liberal democracies, there's plenty of evidence that the use of these kind of systems is a critical issue. About facial recognition technology, Patrick Grother and others found that Asian, African American, and Native groups are 10 to 100 times more likely to be wrongly identified compared to Caucasians. And one false match can lead to missed flights, lengthy interrogations, watch list placements, tense police encounters, false arrests, or worse. In education, Christian Fisher and others show that parents, educators, and others are rightly concerned about companies' ability to mine large amounts of sensitive student data and act in ways that are not necessarily focused on bettering individual students' futures. Fears have been raised that student data that are inappropriately shared or sold could be used to stereotype or profile children, contribute to tailored marketing campaigns. In the insurance sector, companies are using big data to discriminate between profitable and unprofitable clients, offering rewards for what they see as an healthy behavior, but penalizing an healthy behavior with worse or less insurance, injuries those who also need protection. Even the Geneva Association, a leading international insurance think tank, expresses its ethical and societal concerns about the implication of this mix of big data and insurance. And the evidence continues across all these areas of technological ways that can be used to control and manipulate behaviors. We need to do something about it. There's already research and evidence that shows the negative consequences of this kind of systems. But we need to improve the research, especially the research about how to control them in our societies and prevent their negative consequences. All these technologies could be used for good, but there's a gap between the old laws and these new methods. We need to crack down on unethical behaviors 
and follow appropriate guidelines and responsible delivery of these technologies. We need to create broader pipelines of talented data scientists with proper ethical culture. And we need always, always to reaffirm our social marking principles. Well-being is only fully acceptable among citizens who can enjoy freedom, respect, and the right to participate in their own well-being policies. Well, my dear fellows, think about it. I love the Ramones, but I don't want to be sedated like this. Hey ho, let's go. I wanna be sedated! Why do you do that?